Number seven, always make sure that the technicians use microscopes and do not underestimate the experience of the technicians who are helping the doctor do the hair transplant. A hair transplant is an extremely labor-intensive procedure, and there's a reason why most practices only have one patient per day, because the surgery can take up to seven to eight hours to do. Although the doctor will anesthetize your donor area and then the recipient area and then remove the donor strip, it's the technicians who are the ones who are uh, dissecting the strip into individual hair grafts and follicles. And if they're not using microscopes, mistakes can be made. What can happen is that if they only use, you know, these loop band like loop uh, glasses, that's not enough magnification to make sure the grafts are properly cut. And one other thing I wanted to mention is that once the, all the incision sites are made, the technicians are helping the doctor put in the grafts. They're not just cutting them. And what could happen is that if, you know, they don't use microscopes, you could have a graft be cut and not cut with the bulb uh, cut off and not be used. Or sometimes what could happen is that you could have mistakes made, like a two-hair graft in the frontal hairline. So no, don't underestimate the experience of the staff. And one thing I recommend asking the surgeon you're looking into is, how long have your technicians been working with you? And how long is, has the most recent technician been working for you? You want to make sure that it's a team that works together as a cohesive unit and not just some random hodgepodge of, of uh, random people just thrown together that day. You know, so the technicians are every bit as important to a successful procedure as the doctor. So yeah, let's move on to number eight.